the most haunted church in Britain, aka the Demon Church, St Botolph's Skidbrook. I'm here to take some photos of the church and if you're not frightened, I'll take you inside with me. Let's see how scary this church really is. One of the problems you get with taking pictures of these churches in the countryside is they're often surrounded by trees which have leaves on. It's winter time now so it's really in my favour and there's no leaves on the trees so I can shoot the church through the trees and get most of the building in and not loads of leaves in the way. I'm going to use the Canon 400D for these pictures and just to challenge myself with this camera. The first shot I'm going to take is this sort of picture of the tower of the church in portrait format. I'm going f8 and 1 60th of the second. That's the first one in the bag and I'll put that up now. Because of all the trees you can't really get a clean shot of the building because there's always trees in the way and this is potentially the best shot that I've, I'm going to get of the building. When you take pictures of buildings it's important to get uh, the corners of the building and not a building flat on because if it looks flat, if you're looking flat at the building then it just has no depth. Uh, but if you take the picture from a corner, from an angle, it gives the, the building so much more depth. So I'm going to take this now and I'll show you what this looks like. I've taken two images, one where I'm focusing on this gravestone and the second image I'm focusing up here in, in the picture so I can get both parts of the image as sharp as possible. For this image I've come to the opposite side of the church and I'm going to try and take a picture with the sun in front of me instead of behind me and let's see how I do with that one. The church dates back to the 11th century and is dedicated to St Botolph who was a 7th century Saxon nobleman. Over the years it's been renovated and extended in the 14th, the 15th and the 19th century and now it's the Victorian church that we see today. Since lots of the parishes Skidbrook had moved to other towns the church had been abandoned by the Church of England in 1973 and since then it's been the subject of a lot of paranormal activity. Since the late 1970s the place has been used by Satanists for all sorts of rituals and in the early 2000s there was animals decapitated and all sorts of things that have been found in this church. A team of paranormal activists have visited this site from both Lincolnshire and Norfolk that have come with night vision goggles, syndrical rods and other sort of paranormal paraphernalia to try to get the truth behind this place. Apparently there's a, there's a ghost of a monk that occupies this building that's probably floating around now and of course during daylight you can't see them because they're, they're apparently so wispy and, uh, and, and sort of transparent that the light blows them out but at night where they, it's low light you can you can potentially see them and there's been sort of lots of reports of sightings of this monk in and around this building. I'll be honest I did expect to be feeling a little bit uneasy being in and around this building but in truth it just feels like a church to me it doesn't feel like anything special. I plan to take a few pictures both inside and outside of the church and uh, just show you the the picture I've taken and how I've taken them and hopefully you get a a feel for this church and of course if you spot anything in the video behind me or if you see anything in the pictures that I've taken then please let me know in the comments if you can see anything odd or anything ghostly that would be really interesting if we could just by making this random photography video finding a ghost would be pretty impressive. I'm going to take a few more pictures of the inside of the church and then I'll put up the pictures I've taken at the end of the video and I'll show one or two of them as, as, I'm, as I go along. I really, really love the pillars, I love the light that's streaming into this church so I'm kind of waiting till the sun pokes out and brightens the inside of the church up, that's fantastic. The outside is great but it's the inside of the church where I can make the best use of this camera that's going to bring these pictures to life. For the sun blaring in uh, through the windows, so the completely open windows there's nothing stopping light coming in and I think you can get some really nice shots from the inside of this building. So I'm going to have a walk around the inside and I'm going to take a few pictures, hopefully I can show you the pictures as I'm taking them. 
the light streaming in from the sun um, shining through the windows and making these lovely lights and on the floor between these pillars is fantastic so I've got to get a shot of this. The dynamic range inside this church is huge with the dark inside and the bright light streaming through the open windows so it's going to be quite a challenge to get the right exposure for these shots. I've not seen or heard any ghostly sights or any apparitions of monks yet but I do hear lots of birds and animals and lots of banging in the field from the farmers but nothing in this room exactly. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.